Hi, I'm Brad Steffens, the Product Reliability Lead with Civicon, and today we're going to demonstrate to you how to replace an individual air control valve in our typical SCP air control system. The tools required for this repair procedure are two 7 16 wrenches, a drift punch, and a small hammer. For today's demo, we will be using a four compartment control block. We will be replacing the control block, which is an intermediate one, for number two compartment. Start by removing the connecting threaded rods that go through all valves. I like to leave the threaded rods in place with the nuts removed on the end that has the air fittings that are attached on that end to hold everything into position. With the unit stood on end with the air fittings ports to the top, simply remove the number one control valve and set it aside, and then remove the defective control valve for the number two compartment. Ensure that the three O-rings remain in, into their respective O-ring grooves on the remaining valves. We then take the replacement valve and install it in the reverse order of removal. Take the replacement O-rings and install on their respective O-ring grooves. And reinstall the number one control valve. Be sure to properly align all the control blocks and then reinstall the flat washers and lock washers and nuts on the ends of the threaded rods. I then lay the block down flat on the table and ensure they're all in proper alignment and properly tightened. If you're replacing a single air control valve on the end of a multi-valve control block, the end valve needs to have the small air ports terminated. To do that, we simply install two ball bearings into the small air ports. The two small ball bearings are included in the repair kit. Simply take a ball bearing, place it in to the small air port, and tap it in gently with a hammer. Then take your punch and drive the ball bearing so it's flush with the surface. That will properly seal off that, that air port to terminate the end of the air control block. These ball bearings must only be installed if it's a single valve assembly or on the end of a multi-valve assembly block. Do not install the ball bearings if you're replacing an intermediate valve in a complete control block. For more technical assistance on this product or any other products that Civicon offers, please visit our website or contact us on our toll-free tech line.